Welcome to Busan EFM News at 3. I'm Julia Hong. Rescuers resumed their search for the 52 people missing from a South Korean fishing boat that sank off the coast of Russia's Far East today after no survivors were found overnight, Seoul officials said. The 1,753-ton Oryong 501, carrying 60 crew members, sank in the western Bering Sea Monday, leaving one Korean crew member dead. One Russian inspector, three Filipinos, and three Indonesians have been rescued. Seoul has asked the Russian government to speed up its search and rescue operations for the missing crew members, the officials said. Adding vessels have been mobilized and that an additional six ships will come to the site within 12 hours. The United States has also joined the operations using airplanes. The U.S. Coast Guard has flown its aircraft in the search, and Russia also plans to do so soon. An arrest warrant has been sought for a professor at the country's top-ranked university on charges of sexually harassing several female students, prosecutors said today. The Seoul Northern Prosecutor's Office recently opened an investigation into the mathematics professor at Seoul National University, or SNU, over allegations that he wrote a 20-something intern in July. The female intern was hired from outside the university to help the professor, whose identity was withheld, prepare for an international math conference held in the summer in Seoul. News of the high-profile incident prompted other SNU students to make similar claims. Prosecutors said they summoned the alleged victims for questioning and decided to file a charge of habitual molestation against the professor rather than the less serious charge of sexual harassment they had initially considered. The Gyeongnam Regional Police Agency will launch a special anti-drinking and driving campaign that will run through the end of 2015. The crackdown will be conducted day and night, seven days a week, throughout the province, including vacation spots and nightlife districts. The number of traffic accidents related to drinking and driving in Gyeongnam has come over 1,100, resulting in 40 deaths. An official from the city of Busan announced a proposal to conduct a special investigation from now until December 9th regarding resident registrations to confirm whether people currently classified as residents are indeed residents. The offices of UP, Myon and Dong will be verifying if any falsely reported moving in notifications were given, if there were unreported changes in residency, and if residents over 100 years old are still alive. The cancellation of resident registrations and re-registrations of people with an unknown residence will also be included in the investigation. The Busan branch of the Korean Red Cross has announced the beginning of the Red Cross Drive, which will provide funding support for vulnerable social groups and relief for disaster, disaster victims. Russian President Vladimir Putin says the proposed South Stream gas pipeline will not go ahead. Speaking on a visit to Turkey, he said Russia would instead look at creating a gas hub on the Turkish-Greek border. Mr. Putin blamed European opposition to the South Stream plan, which was funded by Russia's state gas giant Gazprom. Now for the weather. Winds will be strong around the coastal areas until tomorrow. Sporadic snow is forecasted for this afternoon and tonight in the west inland areas of Gyeongnam. Fine dust concentration levels are normal today. It is currently 4 degrees here in Busan. That wraps up this hour's news. Thank you for joining us. Now you're listening to Busan EFM.